Hey guys, thanks for checking out more Skyrim mods on Toggle AI. Today I'm showing main font replacement and smaller cursor. They may both seem like a simple change, but really add a fresh feeling to the game and have quickly become a pair of mods I can no longer play without. Although they were developed by two separate mod authors, I combined the showing of the cursor and font types together to shorten the overall length of the video. I've also included a side-by-side -side comparison of all fonts, so you can easily pause and compare. You can find that location in the timestamps that I've placed within the description. Enjoy. If you're trying to use the Centaur Large or the Morpheus Large fonts under the optional files, you're going to have some issues with installation. And I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. So if we download it with Manager, I'm using Mod Organizer. We bring it up. And we can't get that data on top. So the way to figure this out is just come up and look at one of the other ones. You can go to information, file tree, and you'll see here how it's set up. There's an interface folder, and then those other two files are underneath. So here's how we're going to fix it. We're going to download manually. And when it's done, we'll drag it out to the desktop. And now let's open it up. And you can see it doesn't have interface, instead it's labeled as Centaur. That's the whole issue, so all you're going to do is drag it out, make a copy. We're going to rename it. Interface. And now we'll pull it back in. Hit OK. And we're going to delete the old one. So now we have it set up properly. 
and we'll just come into mod organizer and we'll install manually. There it is. And it's good. With Morpheus Large, it'll be the same concept, just a little bit different. So we're going to open this one up and you can see there is no folder putting those in there. Those two files need to be in an interface folder. So let's just right click, extract here. And now we'll just simply make a folder. And we'll pull both of these into it. Open this back up. Drag it in. Select OK. And we'll delete the other two. So now you should have this. Open up interface. There's those two files. Back to Mod Organizer. Install. And I've already done it. So, yeah, I'll just select replace. Thanks for watching. Be sure to endorse each mod author if you use and enjoy their mods. Please leave a like if you want to see more videos featuring these types of mods, and subscribe to keep up to date with any future Skyrim mod coverage. If you're checking out my channel for the first time, I recently featured the Bat Travel Vampire Power mod, providing some fun role playing ideas, and I also did a creation kit tutorial both of which you can see by clicking the pictures that are on screen now. Thanks again, and have a good one.